My name is Gage Worsley. I'm a volleyball player from the United States of America. Um, currently today I play in the CEV European Cup Final. I'm the co-creator of this brand called Outer System, this channel that you're watching. I'm going to take you guys with me as I go throughout the day and get ready for the finals of Game 1 of the CEV European Cup Finals. We're playing Rizovia today. has players like TJ Falco, Stefan Boyer, one of the best players in the world, Zatorski. The place will be rocking tonight. But yeah, uh, let's get to it. Okay, uh, currently it is about almost 9.30 in the morning here. Today my schedule looks like 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock we have our last video session scouting the other team. And then from 11 to 12 we have what's called Servant Pass. I think most of you guys know what that is. It's every game day you go in. Get, as they say, calibrated. Kind of just get warm for the game, nothing crazy. The game, people can do it for 30 minutes, people can do it for a full hour. I'm a libero, so I can do the full hour because, you know, I don't have to jump or do much. And the game begins at 7 o'clock versus Rizovia. Rizovia is one of the top teams in Poland. Uh, one of the top budgets in Poland as well. So we are considered the underdogs tonight. Also, I play for a team called SV Gay, as you can see right here. We're in northern Germany. We're in Lüneburg, um, right next to Hamburg. So, yeah. So I'm getting ready here. Uh, going to get a ride for my teammates in the morning here and then uh, go straight to our arena. We just dropped some new merch, and we put, I'm putting the link in the bio. If you're interested in it, click the link in the bio, support the boys. Um, I'm not wearing any right now because I have a shoot with it at 2 o'clock today before the game. My boy's going to come over, we're going to shoot some stuff. But yeah, looks like, like this. Got a bunch of our new merch out. It's super sick. Again, got a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, so I'll be I'll be repping that. I have I've avoided wearing any of it because I'm scared of getting like not mess it up, stain or something like that. Because it's so nice. As soon as we have that shoot today, I'll be wearing it every day. Literally the only thing I'll be wearing because it's super sick. Yeah, link in the bio. I'm off to practice here off a certain pass. And one more thing I forgot to mention: in the mornings I don't eat breakfast. Uh, game day, not game day. Uh, I prefer not to. Just cause one, I don't like breakfast food, and then two. I don't know, I, I'm not really hungry in the morning. So, but by lunch and dinner, especially game days, I like to have a big lunch and dinner. And again, I'll take you guys through that. Um, so yeah, it's when, when I start making lunch, I'll tell you guys what I eat, and yeah, we'll just go from there. So I'm getting picked up by my teammates, Xander and Max, I live about two floors below me. Okay, it's now 12.47, just got back to the bando, as you can see here, boom, 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 obviously American flag, I'll give you guys a full tour of my apartment here in a second. Games at seven tonight, so I have to be there at six, kind of ready to go, um, with, I'm fully dressed out and everything, in my locker before a pregame speech, but I don't like to show up there early, so I usually leave here around 5.35, it's a quick, really quick drive to the gym. Um, 5.40 sometimes, kind of close. So now I kind of eat, I now make tortellini. I have a good amount of tortellini, red, like, like red sauce and chicken breast. I've been, I've been really mixing up my meals. Let me know what you guys think I should be eating on game day. I did rice, vegetables, and, and chicken and fish, and I felt light, but I felt it wasn't enough for me. I get lightheaded, so I try and drink a lot of electrolytes the day before, a couple days before, and then today as well, so I'll be hydrating up. And then I also did with like heavier pastas and whatnot and heavier meats. But then I was like, then I felt too heavy during the game. So I kind of found this meal my mom showed me. It's kind of the tortellini and the red sauce and the chicken. And I kind of found a nice balance there. Look how thick this bad boy is. Do you want two or? Also, my girlfriend Jenna just got here. Say hi, Jenna. Hello. So we got our beet meat. And then we have, we took Jenna's rice and we Cut it in half and sauteed it. I should have done this the first time. Well, you haven't sauteed it yet. Well, I haven't yeah. sauteed it. Sauté means like seasoning. You donkey! No, sauté I think is cook. Like when you're sauteing something in a pan. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Chicken basic. Good amount right here. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Spread it. Nothing crazy. As soon as I saw this, I was like, I'll try it. That's a dinner, that's the thing. yeah. And this is my destroyed charred meat. Looks like it went to a freaking blender. These bad boy, the blender. <laughs> I'm gonna flip it. Looks like a heart. Huh? Looks like a heart. 
Oh, it does look like a heart. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like a looks like a heart. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. With my chicken breast. We're leaving red sauce here with a little. Grana portada. Some cheese. It's like the biggest bag of cheese that they have. Again, this is what I eat. Um, I'm gonna feast up. After we do a quick cleaning, and then we have a shoot, and then I'm um, uh, resting for the game. Shooting our new merch, some of our new stuff. My boy Anton over here. Also, uh, FYE Lunenberg, all the edits and all the shots, it's all him. He's the man. He's the man. Also, what's your, what's your personal Instagram? Uh, it's Anton Bufu. Follow him. Look at him. That's me in the Boone Sligo. Right here. Bend down the mortgage. Like new knees. Is that okay? Should I have my other arm up or no? So it's four o'clock. I had to leave here around 5.15. Um, like I said, I don't really nap. So even that time that I did spend shooting and whatnot, I just look at a TV. So it's honestly better that way, that I'm staying active, staying a little awake, because my eyes can get a little ooh, at night. I'll do a little cleaning, uh, get everything done from lunch, make sure by the time I get home, I come home to a very fresh new apartment. And then around 4.45 here, I'll get ready. And also explain to you the importance of this game for those of you who may not understand what's kind of going on. And this apartment is not big, but it is very tight. It's very homey. This is where all the magic happens here. They cook the stove. I do cook. Yes, I do. I do cook pretty often. Almost every meal. Uh, I cut stuff open here. It's my fridge. It's pretty nice. Bunch of cabinets. I use my space up there as well. My parents got me these hooks for more space. Maybe the shoe cabinet also for more space. It's super sick. Very convenient because I don't like when people, you know, drag dirt in here. This is where my cabinet, where I keep all my, most all my main clothes, including the main merch today. Um, that's a huge American flag. I had my um, bus driver come in and, take, and bring a ladder in here, and we put that bad boy up, and I uh, couldn't be more proud. I salute it every morning. <laughs> here you can see this is a little shrine to Kai that we have. He just passed away, RIP Kai. A couple pictures here, a couple pictures here with my family. Some dead flowers, some souvenirs. Of course, we have the new flag, which we're gonna have people hanging at our game tonight. People are gonna be hanging that at our game. Hopefully we can get it on TV. Shoes! The Dame Nines. I'm pretty sure the Dame Nines. Dames, the Dame series are the best volleyball, like for me, basketball volleyball shoes that I've ever worn. Because they're a little bulky, but still so comfortable, like a pillow. But like they're not like super light where I can I feel like I'm gonna tweak them. These are freaking phenomenal. We have the warm-up that we have to wear when we're warming up. We got my shorts, my jersey's waiting for me in my locker. And my shorts. Those, so those are backups. We have to wear this. It's like a you see it's like a full zip up. Uh, warm up. I don't like wearing this stuff. I prefer hoodies and sweaters, but they make us wear it. You gotta do what you gotta do. I have my Man U jersey, a little recent, a uh, little good luck thing that I started doing here. So, I'm gonna wear that. Got my Ooh socks, of course. Get those online as well. And then, like I said, the club gives us this. So, this is all, uh, they gave us this a nice setup, and I couldn't be more stoked about mine. Okay, we have about 10, 15 minutes before we head to the gym and get ready for the big, big game. What is, what is this game? How does this game work? So it is a CV finals, but it's best out of two matches. And so what happens is you go home and away. So we're playing Brazovia, they're the higher seed. So the higher seed plays at home the second match. So okay, let's say today we win 3-0. It's best out of five, 3-0, 3-1, right? That means next time we play them, next Tuesday, for the, it's the final game, um, we only need to win two sets. Or we have what's called a golden set, where, okay, if they, if we won, if we win 3-0, 3-1 today, and then all of a sudden they win 3-0, 3-1 the next, or the second time, they don't automatically win. We have the golden set, it's one game 15. It's a little intricate. I know I just confuse you by a lot of things. It puts you in quite a bit of hole for next round, or it puts you in a good position. So this is what this game is mostly about, but it's good to uh, win your home, make sure you win in a good fashion. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> of Hamburg. It's not the biggest venue that you'll find in world volleyball, but they have filled it to the rafters and the atmosphere. Absolutely terrific. Fair to say that Aseka uh, Resovia will come into this one as the favourites because it's an untested group. SVG Lundberg medalist and Tori TJ DeFalco starting on the outside. Gage Worsley, the Libero coming through there. A real 
firecracker of a player. Sekura Sovia Zheshov win the first serve of this year's CEV Cup final. There's a containing block there right away. And that comes straight back over and a winner. A wonderful atmosphere already and there's the block. Just defending so well in the back row, there, aren't they? Falco's not going to miss this time. Lovely pick up there as Luati went straight through it. And that is just what they needed. Ketrazinski steadying the ship. Gage Worsley with an important pick up there as well. The American Libero. He's going it. Eight cents in a short one. Worsley's just about picked that up. Got to be good. And is. These guys on the other side of the net. There's a Torsky with a lovely pass. Oh, Worsley with a terrific pick up as well. But it's set point already here. Luati. Worsley with the uh, pick up. And into the block it goes. Elsa with serve. That's a decent one as well. Put plenty on it. Defalco will look for hands. And that's that as far as this first set is concerned. See you later. Really nice pass. Their passing game is terrific. Defalco with the early ace here. And that's not uh, good news either. It's a free ball here for Zheshov. And uh, boy, means here's a bit more TJ DeFalco for you. And there's another race, and uh, poor old Movinkel is being targeted again. The problem for Lundberg, and this second set has pretty much gone the way of the first now. DeFalco again, and it's another tough one. Wurz has managed to pick it up. They'll catch hands on that. Wurz will catch some hands, and that'll drop nicely, and uh, a much needed side out. That's all on Gage Worsley. One time University of Hawaii NCAA champion with a flawless pass. Dime pass right there. Matthew Kniga looking to get the first one. And it's not going to happen because Jakubuczki lets rip down the line. Falco, no, worst he's going to pick that up, but it will drop straight onto the swing of Carol Quas, who says, You overpass in my direction. Guess what's coming back at you? Front running here. 5 3, that's not a particularly good pass. Big bump set comes in from Zatorski, and DeFalco can't get a winner as a result. Watch out, Burma's about. And free ball, Zheshov. They've kept it alive, but that's all they've done, or they've got kept that alive as well. Problem is it? Oh, Rurs has done outstandingly. Oh, Jakub Kokonovsky staying on serve. The pass is better. Got to be good, and it's not. It's into the block again, and into the block again. But it goes out. Well, they stayed with it. And Rurs, who'd swung into the block, decides to go cross court. That gets uh, Worsley engaged. Worsley's done brilliantly. He matched it again with the crop next. Uh, short one. Wow. The CEV Cup final. Trieska sends it back side. Oh! Well, well. Oh, he's caught hands. He's caught hands. Oh, well. 3 0 in the semi final, but that was on the road. Came back and won that 3 1 and then took the golden set. They're going to have to do it the hard way, though. Okay, didn't go our way tonight. <sighs> kind of an ass whooping, but that's part of it. So again, we have the second match. So now we have to go and go 303, one at their place, and then win a game of 15. So we're not done yet. That's what happened in our semifinal match. We lost 3-0 in the first match, and then came back and won the gold set. Obviously, this team's probably a lot better than the team we faced in the semis. Yeah, so it's currently, I don't know what time it is after the match here. We got a suits, one of the VIP room.
and now we keep going. Okay, so now it is Monday, March 18th. The game is tomorrow, March 19th on a Tuesday. And as you saw, um, we have to now go and win in 3-0, 3-1. We did a last round. You know, we put ourselves in the same situation. So let's so hope we can, we can muster up some magic for this one as well. If you're watching this when this first comes out, again, you have about 24 hours until the next game. You can watch it, it's all free on YouTube. But again, by March 19th, that's when we play. So, wish us luck.